we want to multiply the given rational expressions. But before we multiply, we do want to simplify out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators. And to do this, we're going to write every numerator and denominator in factored form. So looking at our first example, we cannot simplify this 2x and this 4x because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. And this is one of the main reasons why in the previous example, when the numerators and denominators were monomials, I still wrote them out in prime factored form. So for this first example, we're going to write 2x as 2 times x, 5 is prime, the prime factorization of 15 would be 3 times 5. And then to factor 4x minus 6, remember the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. And since 4 and 6 share a common factor of 2, we can factor out a 2, we'll be left with a quantity of 2x minus 3. Now that everything's in factored form, we can now simplify out the common factors. 2 over 2 would simplify to 1 because 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Here we have a 5 over a 5 that simplifies the 1. And again, we cannot simplify this x and this x because we cannot simplify across subtraction. So now we can multiply knowing the product will be in simplest form. The numerator would be x times 3, or 3x, three and the denominator is just the quantity 2x minus 3. And again, while it may be tempting to try to simplify something else here, we cannot because of the subtraction. Let's take a look at another example. So I think it's important to remember to never simplify until everything is in factored form. Looking at the second example, two is a prime number, x plus one does not factor, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in parentheses, times, for x squared plus x, again the greatest common factor between these two terms is x, so we'll factor an x out, leaving us with x plus one, and then for our denominator, we have 5x plus 10. These two terms have a common factor of 5, so we'll factor a 5 out. We're left with the quantity x plus 2. Again, now that it's in factored form, we can try to simplify. Not much simplifies here, but we do have a factor of x plus 1 over a factor of x plus 1 that would simplify to 1. And again, we cannot simplify these x's because of the addition here. Now we can multiply, and our product will be in simplest form. Notice in the numerator we have two times x, or two x. And then the denominator is still five times the quantity, x plus two. And there's no reason to multiply this out again. We normally leave our products in factored form. Okay, I hope you found these two examples helpful. We'll take a look at two more examples in the next video.